Welcome guys, welcome to episode 20, I'm pretty sure. Um, today we're going to be learning about minimaps and, um, and how to actually make them for your maps. Now, this minimap tutorial I'm showing will work for Soul Squad 2, Soul Squad, the original Men of War, pretty much a quarter arms, Vietnam, Men of War Vietnam, Men of War Condemned Heroes, Men of War Red Tide, blah 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 blah. Um, it's the same process, no matter what, okay? Anyway, we're going to go uh, and uh, choose a map. Now I'm going to choose a map that has vehicles on it, just so I can purposely show you something. I'm just trying to think what map, maybe this one, I think I, I made this one, I don't know whether or not it has vehicles on it. Feel free to go download it at the workshop if you want. Operation assistance, exactly what it's the map's called. Um, feel free. Okay. Does it have it? Okay, it does. Cool. Okay, so what we want to do before even taking an image, as you can see, there's no mini map. We want to go in here and delete anything, any icons on the map, right? As you just saw there. So we got that light up there. We don't need that crap. You want to delete that because if that gets destroyed on the map, then on the mini map, it's still going to say it's there when it's been destroyed. We don't want that. Right, uh, that, that is a big no-no. Okay, cool. Second thing, we're going to go into your clips, just show your borders. Um, it gives you a good indication of where you'll be, where you should cut the image, in order to fit everything on. Right, cool. Actually, that don't disregard that. We actually don't need them. Um, so long as you got the image, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I was thinking of something else. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so first thing you want to do is obviously um, you could do this manual way, or there is a quicker way. But I'll show you. I'll talk about both. The manual way would you would be uh, to automatically face north. North is the origin, the key point, right, of the map. North is all, every time you want to take a screenshot, you've got to be facing north. Excuse me. And otherwise, if you do it west, or it's, it's just like reverse, it's not going to work, okay? Then you want to obviously point the camera completely down, and then bang, take a screenshot, right? But you gotta, you got to get this level, right? you got to make sure it's straight, you got to... Oh, that's a waste of time. It takes too long, and you'll end up doing multiple screenshots of getting, you know, trying to get it straight. Alright, so, if you press Control zero it automatically senses you, automatically makes you face north. Now, obviously, it doesn't make you face down, but if you just face down and then press Control zero again, it straightens it up, makes you face north. Up you go. Control shift alt d to get rid of all the interface. And, so, obviously, you want to line, when we cut it, we're not going to be having this. We're going to be just having that line. See where it stops? Same here. We're going to have it go all the way. You're not even going to see half of that crap anyway. Um, it's nonsense. So you can just even bring it down a bit. Leave a little bit of gap at the top there, obviously. Um, and then just press F12. Then Control Shift Alt D again to bring back the interface. Now you could just scroll in. It's going to take a bit of time. Or you just clip the camera position and you go straight down. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, so that's pretty much the in-game stuff um, for now. Right, now we're going to go into a photo editing software um, called Photoshop. You can use GIMP, you can use Paint, you can use whatever you like, so long as it allows you to edit um, image files, um, whatnot. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so before we move on, I just want to say that um, number one tip, do not save your map when you've deleted your vehicles. Um, you'd probably be annoyed when you do save your map because you have to go back and place all your vehicles and all your, your other little things. Um, so don't don't save the map, do yourself a favour. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, as soon as you exit the game, this is going to pop up. You're going to click on show on disk. Right, I'm just going to move that over here. 
so it's easier for me to drag and drop into Photoshop. Drag and drop into Photoshop. Right. Then what you're going to do is obviously create the double click on that to unlock the background and start editing your map. You can use anything. Um, okay. So while I'm doing this, I'll explain something to you. In order for your mini map, in order to see your mini map, you you need to have a a, a mod. Whatever your map, your map needs to be turned into a mod, basically. I don't know why they've done this, it never used to be like this. But in order to see your mini-map, you need to turn your map into a mod. Um, activate it and play a mission. Um, you need to open your map, basically, in the in the, in the the base game. So go multiplayer, uh, go skirmish, select a, a mission, select your map, which should have a mission in it. And then you can see your mini-map, and I'll demonstrate this. Don't know why they done that. Um, never used to be like that. You used to be able to see your mini map in the actual editor, but um, I was recording before, and I went into the editor, and it didn't allow me to do this. Right? It it didn't show up, and I was getting so frustrated. Right? So anyway, I figured it out. You got to turn your mod into a map, uh, your map into a mod or mission or whatever. It has to have a mission in order to actually click on the map. Um, even if it's just a blank mission, it doesn't matter. Okay, just a mission that way you can actually see it in the in the campaign window, which I'll show you. Anyway, so what you want to do is control click on the image, right? Control click on the image. As you can see, it makes you uh, it selects everything and see how it's selecting up there. We don't want that. Delete, delete. Make sure that's deleted. Okay, control click again. Nothing else is selected but the image. Go image, trim transparent pixels and it'll cut all the bullshit out then save as okay oh, no, no. save as so we can go save but I think save um, save as allows you to do all this I think save doesn't I don't know go to desktop call it mini map it has to be spelt exactly the way I've spelt it no capitals on the desktop kaboom kaboom all right close Photoshop you're done. Then you want to open a program called DXT BMP. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to download. You don't have to do this. Um, as you know, Men of War and all the other ones called ARMS and all that all work on DDS text um, format. Now you can use a JPEG as your mini map, or you can open it in here. Wherever it went, there it is. Open it in here. It's going to open up for you. Go save as DDS texture. Save it on the desktop. Okay. It's going to save it. Kaboom. Now grab it. It'll be probably that one. Yep. And we want to bring up my your Assault Squad 2 directory wherever you've saved it, wherever you've installed it. Uh, for example, for me, he's on the D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Metaphor Assault Squad 2. I'm going to go resources, map, my mods operation assistance which is the mod you can download off the workshop I actually don't recommend doing that it's actually quite buggy uh, it uses the Valor mod but he must have changed some of the units so they don't appear every, like everything's just fucked and I'm not even, not even going to bother changing I'm probably going to take it off the workshop to be honest I don't even worry about it um, it's just completely bugged in terms of units disappearing and, and um, things like that but for demonstration of this tutorial it works fine so we're going to Copy and paste the mini map into here. I'm going to replace it because I've already got one. That's pretty much it. And then we're going to open Men of War Soul Squad 2 again. But before you do that, make sure your map, so for example, Operation Assistance is in mods. Where is it? Operation Assistance. Make sure it's in there. Okay? And then you activate it and then you can see your mini map. So let's go do that. Alright guys, so once you've done all that, you've put the map in the folder, your map folder, mod folder, um, created your mod with the map and a mission, like it could be a blank mission as long as it's got the map, put it into your mods folder, go options, go mods, go operation assistance, well for me that's what it's called, that's what we're using, whatever your mod is called, 
Okay. Hit apply. Go skirmish, select mission, mono be in custom operations, operation assistance. Cool beans. Um, God damn. I don't even know why I used the preview image for this. It's so blurry. <laughs> Could have used the 1080p image. Ah, uh, oh God. A long time ago, this was made, guys. Look at the title. I did these effects. I don't even know. Okay, whatever. It's going to turn into, like, milk cooking game. But the way he plays his old missions. Um, now, the reason why I'll be taking it down is because there should be units in here. Like, just full of units and there isn't like there should be a gun back there and it's not even firing there should be units in here there should be units in here I mean I don't know it's really it's really buggy um, I was just trying to see if I could turn for the war off but uh, I can't anyway we're not gonna worry about that the main thing here is I show the mini I'm just going to move them up. Okay, so the mini map's working. So you have to have it activated in the main game, and then play it in the main game in order for it to work. That's how it works, guys. Um, I don't know, it never used to be like that. It used to be, you place the image in, and you can go on the editor and see the image in order to test it to make sure it works, but this is just, yeah, I don't know. don't know what made them change. Anyway, that's the mini map, so it works. Okay. It's not the best, as you can see, it's quite stretched. Um, but oh well. Um, I actually think that's that's not because of the mini map fault. That's because um, the clip, the map clips. I have two, right? I have the order, and then one called Ruins, and it flicks through the different ones um, when you play the different mission. Um, so when you complete objectives and whatnot. Anyway, as you can see, this is what it is. This is what it looks like. It looks cool. Um, yeah, let's just quit here. You don't want to see that mission. <laughs> it was good in the day. Now it's broken. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, I think helpful and learn something is the same thing. Anyway, um, yeah, I will be doing another another news update thing regarding the Blunder series. Um, you guys haven't done anything or said anything about that on the uh, Euro Truck news update. I know that video, the audio wasn't too good in terms of microphone. Um, I, I've, I think I fixed that. Um, I think I fixed it. It was actually got to do with Adobe Premiere settings. I think I fixed it. I don't know 100%. Um, and I know it was a 35 minute video, I mean, of me driving a truck and talking about updates and announcements on the channel. Um, you know, but anyway, if, if you guys want, go back to it. Skip, just read the description because it gives you a brief understanding of the Blunder series I'm talking about. Um, so, and just, just choose what genre you'd like me to do for the Blender series. Um, otherwise, I'll just pick one. So, it's, it's up to you. I don't care. Um, but, yeah. hope this was helpful. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up, I should say. Or like. Subscribe. Um, if you... And, um, comment down below. And, um, on the Blender stuff the genre if you go back on the video or whatever. Um, I will be starting that soon. I want to get a new microphone. I want to get an actual microphone. Um, so the quality is really good for you guys. That Blender series would be a long series. I mean, like if you watched the video, I said 20 plus buildings. So that would be easy. You know, multiple videos just for one building. I'm not going to do the whole building in one video. It'll take too long probably two to three parts a building so 20 buildings it's, it's a, lot, a lot of fucking videos um that's just modeling then i can do if you guys like it and want to see more i can do a texturing and unwrapping series um and then if you guys want me to progress even more with further with them i can chuck it into unity and show you how to export it into unity uh, or unreal 
Um, I know how to do that. So, anyway, that's end end of this tutorial. Um, next one, I have no idea what it's going to be about. I have to go through my list. Um, it'll be something, something good. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.